The town of Boulder, Colorado is launching a bold new program that could change the way we live entirely. ABC's Lisa Fletcher takes us to the world's first smart grid city. You know it as Boulder, Colorado. Those who live there know it as Smart Grid City. We like to look at Smart Grid as, as bringing the world of Thomas Edison together with the world of Bill Gates. Green high-tech companies are investing more than $100 million to transform Boulder into a living laboratory. At no cost to residents, 50,000 customers will use systems that let them monitor their energy usage, know their carbon footprint, and for some, even control their heating, cooling, and lighting from anywhere in the world. Val Peterson and her husband, University of Colorado Chancellor Bud Peterson, volunteered to be part of the experiment. So my solar panels are talking to my house, are talking to my car, are talking to my house. This smart meter lets you see whether your energy is coming from dirty coal, solar, or wind. Then you decide when it's best and most efficient to consume. Boxes like this one are pretty much the brains of Smart Grid City. One has to be installed on every power pole with a transformer across Boulder, so that's got utility crews working pretty much nonstop to get it done. Those boxes allow the Petersons to control their energy usage with the stroke of a keyboard. So we're actually producing more than we're using, and the extra is going into the battery storage. Excess power is stored in the house. It can charge their hybrid vehicle or supply them with about two days' worth of backup power. Because of the solar panels, we've been able to not produce 590.7 pounds of carbon. And able to create enough energy to microwave 154 pizzas. Multiply that by 50,000 customers and you're talking about quite an impact. Dennis Arfman also lives in Smart Grid City. Our monthly bill was $3. What he's learned from his smart meter inspired even more smart saving decisions. Probably the biggest change is the clothesline. We always used our electric dryer. And I found out how much power that thing was consuming, which is enormous. Investors in Smart Grid City hope this project will prove to the world these kinds of systems are the future of energy. Until then, Boulder's happy to use its power to show America how to use less. For Good Morning America, Lisa Fletcher, ABC News, Boulder, Colorado. It's interesting how the right tools will help you completely change your behavior. So inspirational. If we once could you all, can, yeah, you, know, you could all hook into that. Once you see what that dryer is costing you, yeah, the exactly. clothesline looks a lot better, right? Eh?